My name is Kurt Hageman. I'm from Baldwin, New York. I studied abroad in Egypt and I am a psychology and globalization studies double major. I picked Egypt because I wanted to pick somewhere that was completely unique and different. And I felt like Egypt was um, the best candidate that Gettysburg offered. Also, I have an interest in the Middle East, so it worked out. Cairo is very crowded. Uh, it's very dirty, but the people are really friendly even though they don't speak English. They'll go out of their way to talk with you. I guess the coolest part was um, just meeting Egyptians and being able to talk with them about life and seeing what it was like to live there as opposed to here and really coming to understand um, you know, the gap between the East and the West. One of the best things I did there was two refugees. Um, they came from all over. Uh, there were some Iraqi refugees, some from Mali, some from Darfur. And I actually got to use the French I had learned in school because a lot of them spoke French being from Northern Africa. And that was a really rewarding experience. To help them learn English, we'd write them letters, and then they'd write back and we'd correct them. And I got to know them personally that way. That was a way that you could really make a difference in a completely new and unique way. Since I took the, the Arab-Israeli conflict class, I was interested in uh, Israel and Palestine, what was going on there. So I wanted to travel there and see what it was like to be there. So I went to the West Bank and Jerusalem with some friends of mine. and. Um, we went to a cafe in Ramallah, which is the capital of the West Bank, and um, we met some Palestinians there. We talked for a few hours about politics, life, everything, and we played some card games, which was pretty cool. I play saxophone, and it was easy to get involved in, um, in jazz there in particular, and I, I played a couple of gigs, which was pretty cool. Uh, I got to play jazz in um, the, the Cairo Jazz Club, which is like the... Uh, I guess like the blue note of New York City. If, if there's if there's a place you'd go to hear jazz in Cairo, that's where you'd go. And I got to